Hey guys, I'm out here at my Ream RAKA 037 JAZ condenser, and look, look at this. I got me a new uh, Amprobe ACD 51 NAV this week. I couldn't be left out, you know, Fritz and uh, Steven, everybody got one, so I joined the, the club there. I gotta have one too, because y'all might remember I tried to do a video when I put this uh, 521 hard start on my unit, or 521 compressor saver on last year. And I didn't have a meter that read inrush current, but so that's why I wanted this one, because it reads inrush. So what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to disconnect the 521 and get an inrush reading without it, and then connect it back and do it with it. So uh, I'll pull the disconnect here. I'm going to disconnect the 521. Too, so those won't be hot laying there. Separate these out where they don't touch anything. Alright, now I'm going to uh, plug the disconnect back in and I'll have to wait on the delay on the sure switch here or try to use the test button. I don't know which, but I've got my laptop out here. I can start the uh, unit by by the internet here. So let me, uh, let me get the disconnect plug back in and wait on that delay a bit and I'll be back to do a test with the uh, 521 disconnected. Okay guys, I know, because uh, I've already kind of done this test before I started making the video, that uh, this compressor here is probably going to pull more than 100 amps without the hard start or the 521. And I had to kind of figure out on my new amp probe here, you have to change the range. See, that's inrush, but you have to go over here to range. And change it to right there so it moves the decimal over where it can read over 100 amps then you go back to inrush click it and you're ready to go so let me uh i'm gonna try the test button guys on the sure switch and see if it will start the unit for me here put the hat cam on hopefully this will show up for me okay, i'm gonna push the test button guys Got my So we got 102.2. That's without the 521. Now I'm gonna wait a wait a minute here, and then I'm gonna do a test with the 521 reconnected here. So I'm gonna pull the disconnect again. Or reconnect the 521. Hey guys, I'm going to do a test with the 521 connected. I've got it reconnected. Check my range here. Let's see. Let's see. All right. And inrush. Push my test button. There we go, guys. Look at that. 521 compressor saver puts me right at the amperage that I need to be. I've got from a reliable source that uh, scroll compressors being uh, such a high torque motor that they it's normal for them to pull lock rotor amps on startup. But now you notice without the 521, it's way more than it's lock rotor amps. It's like over 100, so that's doing us some good. Hey guys, just for the sake of comparison, I've got a Kickstart T052 wire uh, potential relay and start capacitor. And I thought, I'm, I'm going to think I'm going to hook it up while I'm out here doing this and see if there's any difference. See if it's any, even less with this or about the same or what. Just to, just to compare these two products. Okay, let me uh, let me get this hooked up and then we'll see what it does. Guys, i got the uh, Kickstart T05 connected. I'm going to uh, get it up again here. Let's see what we read this time. Here we go. Push my test button for one second. Ha, ah, look at that, guys. <laughs> I'm going to say the kickstart's a little bit better, 85.8. That's better, a little bit better than the 521. Hmm, interesting. 
Hey guys, I'm gonna try out my new uh, my new Fluke AC220 crocodile clips here. I'm gonna test my capacitor. There's Common and Herm. 50.6. This is a 50 slash 3 capacitor, so that's good on the Herm side. Let's see what the fan reads. Good on that, 3.07. It's a three on the fan size. That's awesome. Okay, guys, I'm going to try this a little different here. I've always pulled all the wires off when I was testing a cap, but uh, I've seen Fritz do it. Leave the commons on and just take the herm and the fan off. I'm going to see for myself if my readings are the same. Let's see here, common herm. 50.6, exactly the same. Let's see what the fan says. 3.07 exactly the same so that's good to know that looks less wires to take off every time you test one okay guys i have removed the uh 521 and i've mounted my t05 kickstart here i decided to mount it down here kind of using the idea that rain does with the capacitor to keep it in the might keep it cooler you know down here in the in the airflow there's, there's the rain master calling me now how about that Dallas. Hey, Ray. What do you think, man? <laughs> Check your shirt, baby. <laughs> it's, already, it's already mounted on there, man. I got it mounted. I mounted it down on the side of the control box, down where it can get air like the capacitor does. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It, my, now my electrical compartment, all it's got in it is the sure switch. It's a lot less cluttered. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, it looks like a factory heart starter, but... I always say the Kickstarter is the best. Yeah, and that's the, you told me that Reem actually had a letter. You sent me the letter where they actually recommend this one. Oh, you know, to put on the put on the units, right? Yeah. Yeah, it gives me it gives me ten less amps on startups. So I've I've already got it managed here, but anyway. <laughs> the Reem is gonna start faster. Oh yeah, it's gonna sound even better now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm making it right now. <laughs> hey guys, before I button this all up, uh, I'm gonna give one more test with the Kickstart T05 here, just to be sure. I got Fritz helping me out here. Hey Fritz. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey Ray, what's going on, buddy? I'm just out here playing with my new amp probe. Oh, are, are you loving it? I love it. Inrush is ah, great. I do too, man. It's one fantastic testing instrument. But uh, yeah, I heard you uh, you got your uh, Kickstart T05 on there, and uh, you took off your your 521. Uh, the 521 to me is a fantastic product. However, whenever the factory recommends something, I want to go back with what the factory recommended. And uh, the factory does recommend the Kickstart 205 or uh, T05. And I believe you actually have some documentation that you can actually share with the fellas on here. I do. So, uh, yeah, you want to go ahead and uh, test your inrush one more time? Get yeah, the Ampro pulled over inrush? Yeah, I want to see it one more time before I button it up here. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm actually rocking. <laughs> I've on. Uh, I've actually got uh, Ray's uh, Honeywell Wi-Fi Vision Pro right here on my laptop, right in front of me. So I'm going to cycle the unit for him. So whenever you're prepped and ready, Ray, let me know, and I'll hit the cool button and hit submit. If I get 77 degrees in your house, 85 outdoors, and 54% relative humidity. Yep, it is. It's kind of warm today, but I'm ready. Go ahead and start it up, Fritz. I got it on the centered on the wire there. Okay, guys, I'm going to hover over cool. I'm going to click cool. I've got a blue light here, and all I have to do is hit submit. So here we go. It'd be just a few seconds, I hope. I'd have just a hair of a delay on it. Awesome. Fritz, 82.14. Eighty-two point fourteen amps with the TO five kickstart, guys. Up and see how much lower that is from that five two one. Like, like I said, man, I think it's a fantastic product, and uh, I think you're going to utilize it somewhere else, ain't you, Ray? You're going to take it over to the shop and put that on that old heat pump over. Yeah, the, that that Coleman heat pump. It needs one of these bad. So I'm gonna, I'm going to recycle. I was going to buy one, but now I'll just put this on there because this one's perfectly good. That's my point, Ray. You know, we need to go by factory guidelines. No, on we what need to do what we do. 
is where the reason behind the insanity, guys. The, those engineers in there are doing their job, and that's what they want us to do. And I mean, that's what we should do. And you just proved it right there, Ray, with your uh, Kickstart T05, brother. Yeah. Now my now my compressor's not pulling lock rotor amps on startup anymore. <laughs> Something ain't that something that is amazing. It was it's perfectly healthy, but that'll make its life even easier now. You're good to go. You're good yep. to go. Well, hey, Fritz, man, I appreciate you helping me out as always, brother. Just let, let the thing keep running. It looks like it's hot in your house there. Yeah, just let it go. Let it run the program. I'm gonna, I'm gonna button it all up here. And... Hey, well, I pulled your set point down to 74, dude. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be nice and cool while I'm editing this video then. <laughs> Alright man, uh, Dale, uh, just holler at me when you're getting ready to post that and I'll come over and take a peek. Okay man, we will do. Hey, thanks Fred. Alright, thanks a lot Fritz. And thank you all for watching everybody. Hope you enjoy. Over and out. Okay. Awesome! Fritz 82.14